hello welcome back to my channel I'm not straight Edgar. I'm going to do my March empties we'll start with the food items first All right from Aldi for I think they're 99 pence a box we have had this um, salted caramel um, ice creams on the stick you know what I mean like the magnums but these are called it's got a G on it what are they called Gianni or something like that and I think I could just say that I think the 99 pence a box and you get four in there and we feel that these are much better than the magnums and we also had the chocolate mint now usually chocolate mint comes with dark chocolate but this time it came with um, milk chocolate which was quite nice I do like the dark chocolate but the milk was nice and then we had two of their 199 beef steaks since I found these in Aldi I don't buy any other steak now except for those they are the meat is good quality, it is matured for 21 days, um, you do get a little bit of gristle around the edge but you can cut that off um, and sometimes there's a couple of little bits of gristle food through the middle but not a huge amount but it is really really nice meat so and again I don't buy any other steaks and then I'm not a great pizza lover but we found the sour, the sourdough thin and crispy base, which I prefer this base. Oh, well, any other base I won't eat. I won't eat a pizza from a shop. Um, the only ones I will eat is this, and then I only get through about three, maybe four slices at the most. Um, so we had two of those, and they are chicken and chorizo and they are oh I can't remember I want to say 1.99 each I think and then we had a treat and we had two bottles of cider um, as in we, me and my young my eldest son Robert um, this is the brother's cider and we get this from Aldi's um, Robert likes the rhubarb and custard one and I like the toffee apple one so we had a bottle of one of those each my bottle lasts for two nights he drinks his in one <laughs> and then oh one minute those want to be over there um, there is a sif bottle um, it's a cream with 100% under, natural cleaning particles 100% um, tough dirt removal 100% shiny clean and this is in the lemon flavour this came from Home Bargains I need a drink <coughs> sorry about that and then there is the star drops the pink stuff Miracle bathroom foam clean cleanser cleaner cleaner and um, that's quite a good cleaner works well and then we have the star drops the pink stuff the laundry the miracle laundry oxy stain remover tough on stains gentle on fabrics for whites and colours this my my son he works on his car and he gets oil all over his jeans it gets most of it out I mean he has jeans for working on these cars in um, and it gets most of it out um, it is a good remover and I use it on other you know lighter fabrics as well like collars on his um, t-shirts that have collars on um, coffee stains you know or, or tikka stains on, on the front of your shirt that gets that off um, we had a thing of table salt I bought this for we couldn't get any grit 
so I bought about four of these to grip at, grit the um, step going out the front of our door and part of the path so I use that and then we got Hellman's Real Mayonnaise this is um, this is not the low fat one unfortunately I usually pick up the low fat but unfortunately I bought the, the real deal and then there is a Bramwell's this is from um, oh the last things that you just saw were from Home Bargains this is from Aldi and it is the Bramwell um, beef and vegetable vegetable I can't talk chunky soup my son loves this he has this with some bread and it really fills him up now there is this bit <laughs> there are two air dyes one is a vital care color cream in chestnut my son has some grey hairs and he wanted to dye his hair so I used this on his hair to dye, dye the grey he didn't like having grey patches um, and then this is mine, the Clairol Nice and Easy Cream um, blend of three tones and highlighted highlights 100% uh, grey coverage, gentle on your hair and scalp and it's the 5RB medium reddish brown this is what I have on my hair at the moment. Still trying to grow out this dark, which it is, it is growing out now. We have the carefree, um, light scented, long lasting to protection, odour control for up to 12 hours, um, panty liners. They're from Home Bargains. And then we have the Champneys uh, Health Spa, a little me, a little pick me up citrus blush um, body lotion. This was really really nice. I'm sad to see the end of that. It was a gorgeous body lotion. Um, we have the Whoopie Do 60 toilet wipes, flushable wipes. These come from Aldi also. Uh, I think you get two for a pound. I have two um, John Frieda Frizz Ease Moisture Barrier T Intensive Hold Hairspray. Locks out Frizz for 24 hours. Um, I got them in the sale in my local boots for 63 pence a can. Really, really good holding your flyaways because I have loads of flyaways at the moment. Don't know why. I think it's because my hair needs cutting. Um, I got a moisturising charcoal foot pack from XBC with charcoal and shea butter. Penetrates deep into the skin to reduce callus build up and help repair and soften cracks with heels. One treatment, you put it on for 20 minutes. It was nice, it made my feet soft for a little while. I would buy again, it was quite nice. Um, we have a, the Avon Planet Spa Aromatherapy Beauty Sleep with French lavender and chamomile essential oils pillow mist. I love this, it's really, really nice, helps me go to sleep. And then we have Ascent Sensationals from Asda. I was buying them three, four, five pound, I think it was. This is called Welcome Home Sugared Apple Cinnamon. That's the, and that's really, really nice scent. It really goes right yeah, around the house and it lasts for quite a while. And from Home Bargains for 99 pence is this Camille hand cream that I'm raving about um, in every empties video and haul 
videos that I'm buying. It is so good. It's a really, really hand, good hand cream. Um, as long as they keep selling it, I will buy this and nothing else. I have one of these block nail file. Um, it have diff different things that it does. Um, that's well worn out. I buy those over and over again. I have two eyeliners. Um, I have an Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil Waterproof in Black Love. Unfortunately, there is pencil in there, but it's disappeared and it I don't think last time I tried to sharpen it it wouldn't oh it's got pencil sharpenings all over my, the inside of my top of my drawer it wouldn't I couldn't find the pencil and it keeps disappearing oh I've just put, sharpened it and it's not going back down so that's not going into the recycling bin we'll put that back in my bag <laughs> this one is a Eco London um, skinny liquid eyeliner in black um, it is dried up now it, I wasn't so keen on this liner um, it, it smudged terribly on my eyes and then we have been really enjoying this. This is the Lux Paris Rich Rich Smoothing Cream. Um, first wrinkles, it says. Uh, dry to very dry skin. It has been really, really nice. I've been really enjoying using this. Um, this came as a gift from one of my subscribers. Um, use it night and morning. Um, and yeah, as I said, I've really, really enjoyed that. It's been a really good, really good um, cream. And then I have, and I've just used this, um, an exfoliating foot peel. This is the first, first time that I've ever used one of these. And I'm waiting for my foot or my feet to peel now. Um, it is... It's made with tea tree and peppermint. It says foot peel treatment enriched with tea tree. Wait a minute. God, it's so dry in my mouth. Enriched with tea tree and peppermint to gently remove rough, rough dead skin, leaving your feet soft and silky smooth. You put this on and you had to leave it on for 90 minutes. Um... And they, sh what's it say? Dead skin will begin to peel off after seven to ten days and start to reveal soft, smooth, and healthier looking feet. So I'm waiting for that to start peeling. Um, I can't remember where I put it on. I know I put it on about, this is my third day away that I put it on. Um, so I've got some time to wait yet before my feet to start to peel. Um, and this is by Ver Derma V10. Um, and I say this this is my very first time with a foot peel. Um, I I I was very very scared to to use this because um, I imagined that my skin was going to peel off in like. A thick layer um, and I've been told that it only peels off you know like when you were a kid and you put that glue that white glue on the back of your hand and then peeled it off and it come off in very very thin thin layers that's what I've been told so I'm not scared to use it anymore because I thought my foot was going to peel in like really thick layer <laughs> and I was really scared to use them but no um, I'll let you know how I feel about this um, when it starts working. So that is the end of my um, empties for March. 
I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I've used up in this month. There has been loads more of stuff, but I just can't keep it all. Um, so thank you for watching and please leave me a thumbs up and please leave me a comment, please. Um, and I do answer every one, every one of your comments I do answer. So thank you for watching again and I will see you again soon in another video. So bye bye for now.